Come by. Hey, boys and girls, this is Richard from Spirits of Japan. Sake is only for medicinal purposes and it helps me get through this. So, here, here it is. We're going to talk about the way I count it, not Wikipedia. Uh, we're going to talk about the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. We're going to talk about um, uh, Emperor Sene, who was 480 to 484, and then 485 to 487, just a few years, Emperor Kenzo, and then uh, 88 to 98, huh? Yeah, 10 years, uh, Emperor Ninkem. And uh, Kenzo and Ninkem were brothers, and we'll get to that in a minute. So Sene, uh, let's start out with him. So this guy was born, uh, Yuraku, remember the ruthless guy, uh, his dad from a consort, with a consort. And uh, the consort um, had him and then uh, his sister, Takuhata Hime. She ends up committing suicide because um, uh, she got bullied. All right. Um, you didn't think that would happen back, you know, uh, well, it did happen in, in, in any royalty or, you know, that's not what we're talking about. Then he has his other consort named Waka. Now, if you remember Waka, you remember that Yuraku uh, was at a party and this guy Tasa comes in. He works for the emperor and he was talking shit. He was like, my wife's more beautiful than these girls. And they got better demeanor. And she's more beautiful, more sweet. And then these girls can match her. And uh, right in front of the emperor, the emperor's like, uh, we're gonna have to see her now. You know, if you got a beautiful wife, you got something good, good going on. It tells you right there, just shut the hell up, right? And so he he does it. So when Emperor sees this girl Waka, he sends him off to Korea to at an outpost there and uh, takes the wife. Now she had already had two kids, and she brought brings in the other two, and um, one of those kids ends up dying uh, in Korea. Um, and that we talked about that in the last segment. But this one. Um, her two kids was a guy named Hoshikawa and another boy named Iwaki. So um, now let's get back to Seimei. Seimei, when he was born, Seimei had um, uh, like extraordinarily white hair. And he dies at the age of 39. And a lot of people, you know, all the research that I've done says, oh, he was very old. Oh, he looks so old. He was very, I think he had um, progeria. In my progeria, um, progeria, it's, a, it's like an aging disease. Um, I, I don't know. You know, it's not a lot of information that we can find, but uh, he does, uh, uh, when he's born, he's already got white hair. Uh, he's really, really super nice to everybody. I mean, he's just one of those uh, that just stood out because of, of, of his personality. He even takes a consort, a girl named Kazuraki no Kara, and they don't have any kids. And so by the second year in, he's really worried, you know, that he doesn't have any kids. And one of his attendants uh, was out and about looking around for, um, 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 oh, 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 but before we get into that, um, Sene, when dad dies, he's not a real strong guy, right? So um, uh, Waka, what we were talking about a minute ago, Waka, she's like, you know, uh, took me away from my husband, my hu you know, one of my sons died, uh, I'm here and I had to give, you know, two kids and I've had to live in this palace and, and she's kind of come to a, uh, 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 you know, uh, an understanding is where she, she has to be, but she's like telling Hoshikawa, one of her boys, a younger boy, this is our chance. You know, I didn't come all this way for us not to not to miss this chance. And uh, Sene is not good. He'll back down. So you've got to you fight. So he rustles up some people. They come up with this idea that if they took over the treasury, they, they'll be in because they'll control the money and nobody can move without the money. So him, um, now his, uh, his older brother doesn't want to take part in it. He's like, I don't know. I know, I hear what you say, but he is the crown prince, and he's been the crown prince ever since he was 22. So, you know, are we good at doing this? What do people think? So he doesn't get involved, but Hoshikawa, his mom, a couple other guys, they go in, they take over the treasury. They bar themselves in. They got food. They've got, uh, you know, and they, they're they saying for, for uh, Sene to give up his crown. Um, he, again, he's that kind of a guy, so he's not into you know being brutal so he employs uh, a senior general called muroya and muroya uh, goes there <laughs> with his people and he's like um, huh silver and gold in there eh, it won't burn 
set the thing on fire. So he sets both the back and the front of the building on fire, burns down, kills the ball, and they just clean up the debris and move the treasury. <laughs> wow. Okay. So with that said, um, Sene uh, becomes emperor. He has his consort. They don't have any kids. He, he needs to have uh, uh, some kind of heir. Um, luckily, about the same time, this uh, one of the attendants is going through this one town. Um, and he comes across these two guys that say that they are royalty. And their father uh, was uh, a guy called Ichi, Ichinobe. And his father was Lichu. Okay, remember uh, uh, Emperor Lichu. So uh, Ichinobe no Oshiwa, he had been killed by Yuraku, the ruthless dude we talked about before, and uh, along with another guy, uh, another attendant. And uh, they uh, uh, Yuraku just threw him in a hole, had, had his attendant dig a hole and throw him in. So nobody really knew where the grave was. So, you know, Seine and, uh, you know, he was... Uh, uh, you know, you know, he was just, uh, um, uh, the, the two boys were, were like afraid, uh, that they were going to get killed next. So they take off, they take off, they change their names. They hide in this town. They see this attendant. They say, Oh, it's, you know, say names the emperor now. Um, maybe we can, uh, talk to this guy and he, we, we can be in good graces with, with, with the emperor again. And, uh, one's like, no, I don't know, man. It's, we still may be killed. And he goes, man, I can't live like this. Cause they've been serving food and dancing and, and, uh, you know, cleaning, cleaning stalls. They've been doing whatever, you know, not royalty, what royalty usually does. So, um, they approach this guy after drinks and dancing and they, they approach this guy. They go, Hey, this is who we actually are. So the guy says, you stay here. Let me find out what's going on. He goes to say, and he tells them about saying, he's like, he's, he's psyched. He's like, all right. He goes, I don't have any kids. Bring them in. And he officially adopts them as young adults. And, uh, uh, brings him into his family. So when he does that, um, uh, he, um, he, he ends up, you know, just a few years, a year later, he dies. So, um, when he passes away at the age of 39, now you have Kenzo and then you have Nin, Nin Toku. Okay, Nin, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, confusing names here. Nin Ken. Nin Ken. So you have Kenzo and Nin Ken. Nin Ken was born in 449, this other guy at 450. So um, he, Nin Ken should be the emperor, but he's like, man, I can't do this, man. Come on, you do it, I'll support you. And they're, they're, they're like arguing, 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 arguing. Now, um, what was interesting? What was interesting is that the, these two guys, uh, who were uh, between Ichinobe and Princess Hai, also uh, they they had uh, three other siblings, and one of them was a princess, and her name was E Doyle, E Doyle, and she um, kind of stepped up to the plate and did the administration of the kingdom while these two guys were for a couple of months arguing and and you know you do it you do it you do it it was like a chipmunk movie uh tv uh show we used to watch on saturday night cartoon saturday morning cartoons uh, after you after you after you after you and finally um uh kenzo goes okay i'll, I'll do it i'll do it he's uh, i really want to do it but i'll do it so he does so he ascends to emperor he um takes in a wife called Naniwa no Ono. Um, somewhere along the line, they're all having dinner, and uh, there's some melon that has to be passed down, and she puts it in the wrong place. or the, 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 Between the tea and the melon, I've, I've read four stories. Uh, somehow she thought she had disrespected him. So after Kenzo dies, she ends up committing suicide because she thinks that uh, her uh, brother-in-law is going to end up killing her. Uh, it was a re really sad situation. Um, but Kinzo and his wife um, never have any children. Um, yeah, so that that was that was pretty pretty sad. Um, now Kin uh, Kinzo, once he uh, passes on, um, that would be 487. A year, uh, just a few months later, not a whole year. 488. Ninken becomes the top dog, and now when he does, he does this. He um, he uh, you know. I don't know. There's all kinds of issues going on with Idoyo. Uh, she lost her virginity, and then she announced to everybody. She goes, "Oh, this. I, I'm in womanhood. This is a horrible thing. Who do ever want to do something like this? I'll never have sex again." So, but she she has this uh, relationship that she just works for the emperor. Um, uh, he, um, I don't know. There's, uh, and I don't have time to talk about it all. Um, but he ends up uh, dying. Um, 
10 years later. Now, he has a lot of kids. He not only has, I think he has seven kids. He has a consort, and he has one kid. So he has this one girl. Her name is Oiratsume. Okay, this is Ninken. He has Oiratsume, and uh, she was uh, 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 Ifer Yuraku's daughter, the guy that killed his dad. Right? And then uh, Emperor Kenzo, the one before him, uh, Naniwa no Ono, was Emperor Hyodaku's great granddaughter. You know, so I don't know, it's just keeping that bloodline still going in there. Um, wow. So uh, Ninken has seven kids, uh, plus one with the consort, so eight in all. Of the 70 kids he has with Yuraku's daughter, uh, her name is Oedatsume, they're all girls except for one boy. And he is like the sixth kid born, not the eldest, but he becomes Emperor Budetsu, which would be, uh, it'll take over him in 498. So, wow. You know, again, we're at 11 minutes. Um, I try to make these between 8 and 12, um, but you can't tell those that story there with those three uh, apart, you know. So, uh, there we go. We had um, Emperor... Um, uh, uh, Seine, who again might have had a kind of an aging disease, white hair when he was a little boy, uh, becomes emperor at 36, dies when he's 39, no kids, adopts uh, the Kinzo and Ninken, uh, who are ends up being uh, uh, their grandfather was uh, Richu, right? And uh, they all, one serves for three years, the other serves for 10 years. And this is all pretty prosperous time, too. There's a, talks about, uh, if you read read the, the book, um, the, 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 the old books that, that have been written and, and handed down over the years, that it was a time with the uh, fields were plenty of horses and the grains were more than abundant. And I guess it was just a really good time, but it was just kind of a little turmoil in the royal family at that time. So I'm over 12 minutes. Uh, we're going to pop off. We'll be back on on in a few days with Emperor Buretsu. So uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, at Nihon Tamashi, uh, this is Richard with Spirits of Japan. Talk to you soon.